As you go through the due date, workflow, and permissions training videos, you're going to notice some minor screen changes that have occurred since the original videos were recorded. I'd like to just mention what those changes are now in this short update. On the Manage Edit Deadline screen, room has been made to handle an engagement field at the top right on the left form side of the screen. The name field has been moved up and the staff and manager field have been moved to the left. The engagement field is exposed on the left side but not on the right. If you do want to see it on the right side you have to right click and unhide columns. The engagement field also appears at the bottom left of the deadline notification screen and in the calendar it appears immediately underneath the task or form ID. In this case you can see no engagement is selected. So those two fields weren't uh, present in the original training videos. Now in addition on the setup permissions and notifications there's an additional field selection as to whether or not you want to see the engagement field at all. The default is to hide the engagement field. So if you're rolling it out for the first time, you've looked at the training videos, you're not going to see the engagement field unless you come into the permissions and notifications and display it. If it's not present, there's just going to be a blank space in this area of the deadline management screen. In addition, on the master tasks and forms setup, there's a checkbox now to suppress inactive tasks and forms from displaying on selection lists. And that's on the right side of the screen. Finally, in further support of the engagement feature, the main reporting screen and the other uh, reporting screens uh, directly from the deadline screen and also from the calendar have two new grouping options that have to do with displaying engagements and sorting by client and engagement. So those are two new available options. So those are some of the minor updates to the screens that you will not see on the first three training videos but that are there. There's also a separate training video on how to use engagements. I'd encourage you to look at that.